What's been going on with Jaden Sancho is a question we've been asking ourselves for the last month or two. He deleted social media, he's gone very quiet, he missed the last four or five weeks of the season with a mystery illness and everyone was like, well you're not ill for four or five weeks, something more must be going on. And it was said that something more was going on. Sancho had took a break the Spark Cup break, gone to the Netherlands with coaches recommended by Eric Ten Hag to focus on getting back to his best and focus on family. There was some family and physical issues. But there's a bit more going on with Sancho. He didn't go on the, the squad tour to Spain. And Ten Hag said he's not returning, even though the World Cup players are returning to training. Because there's a lot more issues going on with Jaden Sancho. And it's time to be a little bit worried. When is he returning? What's going on? And there's a little bit more going on than Manchester United are letting on. So, with Jaden Sancho not being at his best mentally and physically, he's not going to be returning to the squad. And we don't know when he's going to return, which is a little bit worrying. What has Eric Ten Hag had to say on the Jaden Sancho situation? We've just got a bit of an update today. Ten Hag again saying he's just not mentally and physically ready. He's not returning. What has Manchester United had to say? What are the news reports coming out? When will Sancho return? What is the issue? What's going on with Jaden Sancho and more? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. So please do hit that like button and of course subscribe down below if you're new. But I want to say that Ross Harwood dickhead who tweeted for a few likes, Sancho's got an attitude problem, la 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 la, he doesn't. Ten Hag, if it was an attitude problem, would have come out and said it's an attitude problem. There's a problem there with Sancho. Nothing to do with his attitude. Nothing to do with his mentality. He is not okay. Ten Hag is worried. He's obviously struggling with family and some other issues, which has resulted in his performances declining. Ten Hag is sent him to the Netherlands. Ten Hag is very honest. And you know Ten Hag loves Sancho. He still reads Sancho. He still reads there's, there's a player in Sancho. And he's dealing with him very carefully, sending him to the Netherlands with some coaches and some specialists, you know, if he was causing issues, Ten Hag would have said it like he did with Ronaldo. So anyway, what did Eric Ten Hag say? He said, I've had several talks with Jadon Sancho. He's on a physical program and our aim is to get him back as quickly as possible. I can't give a prognosis of when that will be. So Ten Hag said, I've had talks with Sancho. He's on a program. I honestly don't know when he'll be back, which is a little bit worrying. He said, there's huge competition with England. Even at the World Cup, every game is difficult to know who's to start because there's so much talent on the England line. When you don't show it week by week, you can fall out the squad. And that's what's happened with Sancho. He then speaks about Sancho falling out the squad, that he's just not showing it week by week, which is absolutely true. And it's a shame Sancho fell out of the England squad, but there's a lot of talent. Um, I would have taken him over Conor Gallagher, but again, different positions. Ten Hag said, in the start of the season, he, Sancho, had goals and assists, but his key moments and key actions became less and less. It's a combination of physical and mental. We're trying to research and get him back. He said, and this is the thing that worries me, Eric Ten Hag said it's a combination of physical and mental. He's saying he wants to get him back, they're doing the research to get him back, but his drop-up in form is a combination of physical and mental, which makes sense. He's the lead to social media because he's just got so much taunting and maybe that's affected his mental health. He put some weird quotes about family before he deletes social media, so there's definitely some kind of family situation going on. And my thought process is, at the end of the day, you know, Jaden Sancho, like, as soon as... He doesn't need to come back to Man United right away if there's other things going on. Because getting him back in the right mindset is the most important thing. There's no point playing him if he's not in the right mindset. We want to play him, we want him to come back at his best. But let's get him in the right mindset. Let's make sure he's OK, because that's the most important thing. Because if a player's not OK, they're not going to play well. And that's what we have at Rashford last season. He wasn't OK and his performance has dropped. And I think with Sancho, you know, he said there's a mental and physical problem there. He needs to get back physically fit, but he also must be mentally drained. Whatever's going on with his family, it's none of our business. Whatever's going on behind the scenes is definitely affecting his mood. He looks sad. You know, Sancho is like a bright, smart, happy kind of guy. And he was like, so like, do you know what I mean? He gave off like similar vibes to Rashford where they were just, they seemed always happy, social media kind of people. And for him to delete social media, black it out, go on this train and can't be very silent. There's obviously something that's gone on, which is a little bit worrying. And the sad thing is we don't know when he's going to be back. But the most important thing is, one, we know it's not an attitude problem. Two, we know that Ten Hag still rates him and has him in his plans. And Ten Hag is dealing with him very carefully, which is good. And um, three, hopefully, once he, he can sort out this kind of issue going on, he'll be back to his best. Again, Eric Ten Hag saying, no, he wasn't in the right status. He wasn't in the right fitness status to be here. He's on an individual training programme. We'll get him back soon. You know, he's saying he's not in the right status and again that overlies so there's definitely a lot more going on there's not a problem there's not an attitude problem there's not any of that there is something going on behind the scenes that he's struggling with and man united aren't letting on much about it he's had a physical problem as well mentally he's struggling but obviously something you know physically he's not being as fit we could see it in the chelsea game when he played he looked so drained the last game Sancho played for you know was that chelsea game and he did not look right. Like he like he looked like a player who just looked drained. 
like had no energy and there's obviously some kind of problem with physical fitness or something and maybe you know he's sad he's not he's not at his best and that's resulted in a physical fitness strain and i've always said this about sancho peep he got so much taunting on social media the 007 because he didn't get a goal assist in seven games had to work three technically four managers at manchester united um because of just the unstable squad he went to while adapting started quite well in pre-season obviously some things have gone on then he's got taunted by Ryanair all these means about not going to the world cup like Sancho's not had it easy and, and I've always felt a bit sorry for Sancho because I know there's a top player in Sancho you guys know I rate Jane and Sancho so much I think he's such a good player we've seen what he did at Dortmund I think at 19 like he was unstoppable and I know Ten is a fantastic manager who's going to deal with the situation well and I think with Sancho if he gets in the right mindset if he gets his confidence back there's an absolute baller in there on the right wing for Manchester United and I'm hoping this training camp doesn't just get him back to his best mentally but hopefully results in him getting back to his best on the pitch and I think Ten Hag the good thing about Ten Hag is he's taken this very seriously. He's saying that I don't want you with the main squad if you're, if you're struggling, if there's some issues going on. I want you to focus on you, like you and your mental health is more important than anything else. Like I think that's very good with how Ten Hag's dealt with it. What else has been said is that Jadon Sancho has not been exiled by Manchester United. Um, Man United have been impressed by how delicately Ten Hag has handled the Sancho situation. So again, not been exiled, not causing any gesture problems, not got an attitude problem. Maybe, maybe he's probably not been as good in training and Ten Hag was upset to why he wasn't showing a certain level of training then Ten Hag's found out why and Ten Hag's concerned and sent him on a training camp but not an attitude problem and the Manchester United squad and people around Manchester United are reportedly very impressed with how Ten Hag's dealt with the situation because it's quite a delicate situation to deal with and I think Ten Hag's very much like you know with Martial he was poor and dropped off under Oli because he was playing injured Vashra was poor because he's in the wrong mindset Ten Hag's like you know what I'd rather you go away, have some time out, come back in the right mindset and play for the sake of it because I need you, which I think is good because I think Oli just played Martial Rashford whenever he could, didn't give them a break, even if he they, sh they shouldn't be playing, he played them injured, made them worse and wore them out. So, you know, Ten Hag's the opposite. You know, Martial doesn't come back unless he's fit. So then when Martial comes back, he's at his best because he doesn't want to create further problems. And I think that's what he'll do with Sancho, make sure he's physically and mentally fit before he comes back. It was said that Jadon Sancho's training programme as soon as a reset away from Manchester United training squad and that new Jadon Sancho was training away from Manchester United and will not return until he's physically and mentally ready to play for the club again. So again, training camp is a way that he can reset, reset, get back to his best and reportedly will not return until he's physically and mentally ready to return. And sources did stress that Ten Hag spotted a drop off in Sancho's performances and advised him to follow an individual programme to improve fitness and mindset. And again, they've said mindset. And this is the worrying thing. You know, he's obviously not fit. It's obviously not mindset. Ten Hag's very much spotted a drop in performance. Come and, ha come and send why is there a drop in performance. And there's obviously something going on with mindset. So I think with Sancho, we, as I've said a million times, I don't want to repeat myself. We can only hope that Jalen Sancho gets back to his best. He's a fantastic player in there. There's something going on. It's a little bit worrying. It's a little bit concerning. I like, I hope he's okay. Like I really do. I think there's more going on than Man United are letting on. I think he's clearly struggling and I think it's very obvious of that. And I just think, I hope that he can come back better and stronger. And I think the Ten Hag's dealing with the situation quite well. It seems from reports that the United squad are quite happy with it and that they've been impressed with how he's sort of handled the situation. I mean, let me know your thoughts down below, people. I will be back tonight with a transfer news update and general news show. But I thought I would give the Sancho video its own video to really talk about it. Because look, we all love Jadon Sancho. We all know there's a fantastic player in there. We all feel a bit sorry for him because he's had a bit too much stick from the media and stuff. Um, you know, was unfairly dropped for England to start, but has massively dropped off. But you can just look at the player. Like I looked at Rashford last season. I said Rashford last season wasn't right. He didn't look right. He didn't look there. Sancho doesn't look there. Now Rashford's there. He's playing well when he's back in form. If Sancho gets there, I think he'll be playing well and I think he will get back in form. I always said with Rashford, I will never write off Marcus Rashford because I know what he can do when he's good. And I will never write off James Sancho because I know what he, he can do when he's good. And with those kind of players, Sancho and Rashford, they're the same. It's about confidence, mentality and being in the right spirit. And if Rashford can get back and Martial can get back onto Eric Tenog, I have absolute 100% faith that James Sancho can get back. Smash a like. See you next time. And bye.